Hey, everybody, this is Jackie Bros. This is Dunlap over here. <laughs> and we got a good podcast coming to you today. Podcast. We got a good one. Uh, we got some great sponsors. Great way to start a good podcast, podcast oh. is with a great sponsor, and I got one today. And it, everybody knows that off square. Everybody knows about old three sticks of candy. It's been there for years off of square. Uh, Mr. Reynolds is, has run that for years. It used to be a pharmacy, a drugstore. Uh, not anymore. Something happened. He can't do that uh, legally anymore. But now he it's just three sticks of candy. He's still back there dressing that outfit. Uh, you know, smock on and all that. But every kind of candy, three sticks of it, delicious. Three sticks of candy. Go on down there, get something sweet for your mouth, and everybody knows the jingle. Been around for years. Three sticks of candy, one for each hand, and one in your mouth. Sounds like a good plan. Three sticks of candy off a square. Jackie, I got some questions uh, huh? about three sticks of candy. I don't understand. Well, yeah, I, I don't care if you got questions. It don't make a difference. Keep them to yourself. You go figure it out somewhere else. I don't want, why you question everything? You always got questions. I'm just doing the sponsor. Save all the talking for the other part. Because half of all this is, is you running down my sponsors. Well, no, I just think that some of uh, uh, our listeners also have questions. And I'm just sort of speaking well, on their behalf. Well, let them, no, let them figure it out themselves. Anybody got a question, get on computers, books, and, and write it on there. And he'll read it to me if it ain't being smart, which it probably some of them are because they learned it from you. Not all of them, but if you have a legitimate question on old three sticks of candy, uh, I'll answer it. I'll get it. He'll type it up. I'll say it. And I'll what, make sure he ain't typing something else because I can sit there and look at it. And then it'll go on there and I'll do it. But I don't want to have you asking for them because you're just going to try to run it down and make something up. First of all, the the jingle what? is sounds like you're talking about dicks. What? That's what we said. Jackie's not lying, folks. He, this is I a, don't everybody want knows that. Nobody's going to, in there. Jackie, listen. I'm if, not going to If you take ask. off the part that says three sticks of candy, and you just go to the part one for each hand, and one in your mouth. It sounds Don't like everybody pain. have a mind like you. Thank the Lord. Pitiful. And that's just the first question I and the listeners have. Uh, the second question is, what kind of candy is it? You say it's all kinds of candy? Like peppermint sticks? It's Yes, it's all kinds. It's candy, not the other thing what you said. That's pitiful. Yes, it's candy. It says it right there. Three sticks of candy. It's all kinds of candy. It's peppermint, uh, all different flavors. What's them call it? Uh, Kit Kats, all that stuff. Wait a minute. Those aren't sticks of candy. Those are candy bars. It's got better honey and other stuff, too, not just candy bars. But a bar's not a stick. Three sticks of candy, not three bars of candy. I know. I just sang a thing. I said the name of the store. What you going to say? What kind of name are three bars of candy? It's three sticks. That's how the song goes. It's three or whatever it is tied up in a little ribbon, and you go in there, and they're in the little jars there. And you can mix and match. I can get a Snickers, a uh, Butterfinger, and a Clark bar. No, it's three of the same kind. Why? Now, these are real questions. I don't, I don't feel like I need to answer any of this after what you just said, though. So I should have started off with these questions and moved on to the part about it. Well, I'm right. just... Here's the thing. We never went to three sticks of candy when I was a kid, but we all knew the jingle because we'd sing it, and then we'd do like a uh, jerking off motion. All right, like, I'm not going to hear it. Enough. Sucking off motion. Uh, enough. I'm not going to hear that on here anywhere else. But we didn't go into three sticks of candy because we were confused by it. We were like, how many can... Can I get the three different kinds of candy I want tied up in a ribbon? Why so you have a piece, uh, uh, three, six, nine? 
You get three Heath Bars, three Snickers, and and three uh, Butterscotch. Uh, That's so much Heath Bar. I'm feeling more like I'd like one Heath Bar. Well, go somewhere else. And then they don't want you in there after what you said about them already. I wouldn't want you in there either. Now, can you get a Reese's cup? Because that's not a stick or a bar. That's a cup. Like a Malamars. Well, you ain't going to sing Three Cups of Candy. It's the name of the store. Three Sticks of Candy. It's the name of the song. Three Sticks of Candy. One for... I already sang it. Oh, uh, yeah. Now sing it again. I'm not going to sing it again. I did it already. <laughs> I gave, they gave me $25 and sang a jingle, and I did the thing. They didn't pay for you to come on there and say trash with your mouth and, and run them down. I think if you're going to have a store called Three Sticks of Candy, it should be all candy sticks. You could have pixie well, sticks. Well, you go open up your own damn store. And you call sticks. it whatever you want. You can't call it Three Sticks of Candy because there already is one of those. It's all for square. Those things that are like peppermint sticks, but they're fruit flavored. Um, I guess those are all the candies. Oh, Chico Sticks. See, that's like four different kinds of candy. Sticks. Candy sticks. You can sell whatever you want in your own place. Call it something else. So oh, it ain't three sticks of candy. I already said what it was. I think he should like if I went in there, what if I went in there and I wanted a Hershey bar? And I wanted uh another Hershey bar. And then I wanted a Milky Way. Could I get that? Tied up in a little You river. already know the damn answer to that, and I ain't going to tell you. Well, I just don't understand why in America, where we love choice, we're, we're well, you assaulted. Can, you know what? You can choose to go somewhere else and get get it however you want it. You get it. You go to one of them places. Go to, like, what is it? Burger King, anyway, have it your way. Mm-hmm. McDonald's didn't do that, did mm-hmm. they? Nope. nope. What if I want? Wendy's don't do that. No. Uh-uh. No. Now, it depends on who's working there. If you ask them politely, they might do it. But on, now, on a regular. Most of them will do it if on, you ask them. No. Not on a regular. Some people will do it. But Bug King mm-hmm. said, have you want it. Have it your way is what they said. Yep. And you go in there and, and, you know, you take somebody's order. It's 15 minutes long. What if I want two sticks of candy? Well, you take a friend in there with you. What if I want two in my mouth and just one in my hand? What if I want, say, a Milky Way and a Three Musketeer uh, in my mouth, hard in my mouth, and then in my just like one hand? Like, what if I'm driving? I could have two in my mouth and one in my hand if Look, I was driving. Just do I what you go the in there and buy it, do whatever you want to. It. Put it in your mouth, put it in the street. Give it to a homeless person, stick one up your rear end. I don't give a damn. Do whatever you want with it. He only sells it one way. You go in there and get three kinds of something tied up in a with piece of yarn, ribbon, whatever the hell it is. I don't even know. You got me so wound up. Go in there and get it and then do whatever you want. I don't want to hear about it. I don't understand. And nobody else wants to hear about it either. I have some more questions. Mr. Reynolds, uh, very hardcore on this obviously on this three sticks of candy business there are rules he's going to follow them uh this he seemed to go a little overboard on this after uh he lost his drugstore and his ability to sell medicine to people uh because of the trouble he still wears the pharmacist smock it's ba- instead of pills back there it's all candy and he keeps Tied them up. in the in the uh like pill bottles Mark Snickers, Milky Way. This is what I've heard. You know what I'm about to say. You know a lot about this. You never stepped foot in there. Well, rumors spread like wildfire. And well, so Murphy far, Club. that part is right. Everything else you're saying is pitiful. So let me just say, this was a man with public humiliation, and then he uh, wears a costume of a profession he no longer... Uh, uh, public humiliation, that's one way to look at it. I wouldn't go so far to say that. So you put words in mine and his mouth. I wouldn't go so far that. Everybody has troubles. Everybody has ups and downs, whatever you want to call it. So he wears a costume. It ain't a costume. It's it's a pharmacy smock. And he sells candy, uh, but not 
the way regular people sell candy, where you walk into a store and buy a Butterfinger, he sells candy in a very peculiar way where candy is... Some people like a candy that way. Some He's been had that store there for years. Now, it wasn't always, like I said, it wasn't always three sticks. It was called three sticks of candy. It's section in the store, but now that's, that's all what it is. Now, it used to be just Reynolds Pharmacy. He sounds like an insane person. We haven't even talked about the part where he's. Oh, you a crazy away. person. Anyone think the way your mind does about stuff? You the crazy person, not Mister Reynolds. Because Maud Reynolds died, and she was the old woman. She stayed in the uh, three sticks of candy part of the store, and they were in love. And uh, when she passed away, uh, when she slipped and fell. Uh, on the steps. Well, it'd break your heart, too, if that happened to you. That's what I'm saying. You were sitting there, public shame, this and that. It was Slipped more and fell in pub- the steps, and he made a few miscalculations. This pill goes in this bottle. This pill goes over there. No, oops, wrong wrong bottle, too late. Uh, you know, a couple more people die. Uh, Didn't know but one person died. People got sick. People got real sick is what happened, and, and they're they fine. they say when he's in there tying all the, the candies together with the, the ribbon, he still talks to Maud. Like, how's that look, Maud? Did I tie that one together good? Hey, it ain't that. They count together. One, two, three. That's what it is. It ain't they talk about what the – they know what that thing looks. But he's the, talking to his dead wife is, is – this is peculiar part. Well, rumors say this, rumors do that. It's candies in threes. It's, everybody likes something sweet in your mouth. It's a funny theme song, fun to say, sticks in your head. It is a funny theme it's song. A, it's from another air going in there. He's dressed up nice, giving the candy, whatever kind you it's want. It's just to pick sad, out. I guess is well, what I'm saying. It, what keeps him happy is his business. That's his life. That's what he does. Uh, I'm kind of like that myself. If I didn't have this place to go to every morning, I don't know what I'd do. Give me something to, you know, reading to keep going on. Long people enjoy my barbecue, enjoy coming in here, and my company, I'm going to stay open. People like to go down there. They don't necessarily like his company, per se, but they love candy. Everybody loves candy. If you want to buy it in bulk or threes, whatever you want to do. Like Is said, three bulk? Three, six, nine, I said, in bulk or in three. So, well, what would be bulk three? If you went in there and bought three sticks of candy, that's not bulk. No, I said bulk bought- or in threes. If you want it in threes, yeah, everybody knows that the, sometimes one candy bar ain't enough. What would you say is is the cutoff for bulk? Like 12 candy bars, you think? Is around that there, around there, maybe a little three more high, maybe. 15 candy bars? Then you're ready for whatever comes your way. You got two in each hand, one in your mouth, a couple in the closet. You have glo- three in box, there. All over the house. Uh, Mr. Reynolds is happy. His dead wife is happy. Probably those people he killed by accident aren't thrilled. But One person. Other people got sick and fine now. They're doing fine. I mean, they died late. One, one person died from his mistake. Some of the people who got sick are still living, but the ones that are dead died from natural causes, not from this, what what he did. You never know what's going to get you in the end. I guess the lesson is don't let your wife walk around wearing slick shoes when it's raining. She may fall and bust her head open, and you're wearing it. Well, you can look and wake and all this stuff. You can say, don't wear slick shoes and don't do that. Nobody told me nothing I could do. Say your wife's going to have a stroke. She could have wore whatever kind of shoes. Uh, it don't matter what kind of shoes no you wear. Shoes. She still had a stroke. Yeah, no shoes will prevent a stroke. No, I no didn't say that. Shoes. I'm saying it don't matter what it is. You can, you can sit there and prepare for everything, this or that. You don't know what's going to happen. Ain't Heels, no way. flats. Well, Athletic shoes, new All balance. the thing you can plan for is a gun underneath that pillar. And even then, sometimes can things go wrong every now and then. What do you mean, in case somebody breaking in on you? Uh, whatever else, protection, you don't know. When it all goes up, I got that. I'm just saying that's the only kind of thing you can plan for. That may keep your gas can full, things like that. 
So buy your wife some sensible shoes with a, a, it don't, a good You buy whatever shoes she wants, she can still fall down in the stores, I'm saying. Get a gun under the pillow, a full can of gas, and get on down to three sticks of candy, one in each hand. And one thing you can guarantee, once you get three sticks of candy, it's going to be good. Sweet and delicious. Go buy 15 and of them. It. Put it with the gas can and the gun under your pillow in case Hock up, yeah. power goes out and the riots start. Yeah. So that's uh, three sticks of candy. That's my sponsor. I say it. Three you, sticks of candy. All you do is run it down. You want to sing my that say song I, again? You ain't getting $25 for saying that. I already got $25. I know what you're thinking. You're saying if I say three sticks of candy... At the end of it, then I get twenty five dollars too. That ain't the case. Well, he's nuts. I go down there and say, "Hey, can I get my twenty five dollars for saying this?" He'd say, "Sure, sure." I, there you go. I don't know Here if he's that far gone. I don't know. My dead wife, Maud, I, and I'd be like, "Mister, I ain't your dead wife." And he go, oh, "Maud, you have such a wonderful All sense of humor." All right, enough. Run the man down. Can't help what happened to him. Three sticks of candy, right I off the square. Sh- three sticks of candy, right off a square. Jack, yeah, I got a sponsor uh, I'd like to, to uh, tell the folks about. I think they're going to get a little kick out of this. You all know T.T. Slot. Oh, Murphy's hell, that ain't no leader. sponsor on here. She Former give, prostitute. She can give you all the money in the world or whatever she does with you. I don't care. That ain't no sponsor on here. You run your mouth about it, I'm going to sit here and run it down, too. Wh- I ain't going to want you because you ain't even, that ain't even a real sponsor. Just want to say she want to thank you for uh, uh, the success of uh, – uh, slot juice hose, our new. D- there ain't no slot juice hose. No such thing as something she calls that. She's trying to rip old real McElroy off. The only thing you want to drink if you got a hankin for something with that kind of taste, you drink hose juice. You come down here to the store, get some at. You haven't heard, huh? You didn't hear what happened. What do you mean hear what happened? I don't know what they ain't talking about. It's all over the news. You didn't hear about it. What do you mean, on the news? What? First, let me say the flavors of uh, slot juice are uh, grape, apple, grape, apple, pink, clear, and new slot juice hose. Well, if you're going to do that, I'm going to say that is green hose, uh-huh. original green hose. There is delicious black hose. Uh-huh. These are all hose waters, all these except for one. Mm-hmm. There's Energy Plus hose water. Mm-hmm. Ball, when you're on the go. Right. And then there's hose water light. For your calorie. And hose juice. That's that's what you not slot hose juice, whatever the hell it is you call it. He come out, he ripped off TT slot, he, slot juice hose. Well, cause she was saying this kind of hose that run through a hose, this hose, she just took that straight from him. So if you want that, and plus, I think it's fine to give people an option to purchase things, not, you know, to get a product that you want without having to, you know, associate with known prostitutes. Oh, would you rather associate Jackie with a known prostitute or would you rather associate with a known racist? Oh, hell, That's what right. racist? What are you? You, you, you didn't hear I don't know what you mean, Did racist. Did you not hear who's the latest racist? I don't keep up with all the racist stuff. Well, it's getting hard to keep up with it, but I try. I mean, that's all you can do. I'm an American. I believe in freedom, and I try to keep up with who's the racist. Who's the latest racist? Well, uh. folks, the latest racist, of course, is uh, Rio McElroy, and everybody uh, in America knows this, I guess. Don't Jackie, get on for... here and call my sponsor racist. What are you talking about? I'm not calling him racist. Everybody else on Twitter is calling him racist and Instagram. Here's what happened. What? Twitter's? Okay, you all know about Don Sterling and the, the uh, Clippers, and he got in trouble, uh, and they're, they they making him sell the team or however well, basketball yeah. works. I don't know. Uh, well, Rio McElroy and his big mouth Twitter fingers got on Twitter and was like, well, I'd like to see somebody make me sell my business just because I'm a racist. Why? Well, you should have seen Twitter light up. All of a sudden, uh, Hosewater racist 
Hashtag Hosewater Racist was lighting up Twitter. Hosewater Racist? What? Trending Murfreesboro wide. Now, he come out and he said, look, I didn't say I was racist. I said, I'd like to see somebody take my business away just because I'm a racist. He was said, I meant if I was racist. What? I'd like to see somebody, if I was racist, just because I am racist. But then he did clarify that he was racist. Because on Instagram, his mistress, Tinker Judson, had a picture of her and Cowboy Troy uh, doing the, when Cowboy Troy did celebrity endorsement for hose water, they huh. were drinking out of the same hose. I saw that picture. He showed me. Don't be saying she's his mistress on here. She and Tinker Hudson. Well, I don't know if she mistress, secretary, uh, it traveling ain't, companion, it your caretaker, best friend. We don't really know. It ain't your business what she is. All I know is now she's working for TT Slot in what? the marketing in the viral marketing department. Cause she, I think she's proven her worth. What's that? So Rio McElroy gets on there and he's like, "What? Don't show a picture of you and Cowboy Troy drinking out of the same hose. Well, I, I, you can take him out to Burger King. You can give him a hand job." You I, can, I'm you not can gonna. I'm not gonna hit. Climb on top of Cowboy Troy and go to town. I, I. You can shut Cowboy Troy's clothes and do whatever you want to with I his black body. I don't want to hear this kind of talk on here. It's what Rio McElroy. He got on Instagram and he said, "The thing is." Rio McElroy doesn't really know how social media works. Whoever signed him up for his Twitter account uh, should not have done it. And I'm sure it was either Randy or Andy or Sandy or one of his sons. And I, the reason I don't get Tandy. on that thing, I don't know how none of it works either. If you are a racist, it's going to come out on Twitter. If you're on Twitter. Hell yeah. I so get- racists need to get off Twitter. Maybe start their own social network. I don't know. Maybe start a network like that's like Twitter, but only for racists. And then maybe there's like a secret code word you need so that only other racists can see it. And then they can get on there and say all the racist stuff they want. But otherwise, if you get on there and start saying, Cowboy Troy's black and I don't want my mistress and him drinking from the same hose. Ow. If you get on there and say, I'm racist and I'd like to see somebody take my business away from me, guess what's going to happen? The Murfreesboro Bottled Water Association is what? going to call an emergency meeting, and President T.T. Slot hey. is going to call for the immediate disbanding and sale of, uh, of hose water. And that's what they did. They went straight over to his house, what? and they rolled up that hose, and they took that hose away from Rio McElroy. You're not making this up. This happened. This I, happened, Jackie. And I now didn't. Rio McElroy does not own the hose. Who owns the hose right now? That's a little unclear. I guess the uh, Murfreesboro Bottled Water Association owns the hose. Rumor is Oprah may buy it. Oprah? Oprah may buy that hose. It may be Oprah's hose water. Oprah hose water. I didn't hear None of this. I know about that picture you talking about and Tanker. Tanker Judson now is head of viral marketing for uh, uh, Slot Fluids Incorporated. I don't know how that picture. It makes to me it looks like, you know, they're together or whatever like that, you know, because they're drinking out of the same hose. Well, they're like, drinking which out is of the fine. Hose. I'm not saying anything's wrong with that. Black and white can drink out of the same hose together. It is a little sexual the way the water's covered. That's what I, I their don't shirts have. shirts are wet and it's clean. If they're boyfriend and girlfriend, they, I don't care what color they are. They can drink out of every 
hose I want to. I'm not. I'm not saying that. This is America, that. and you can drink out of any hose. I Anybody know wants to. I'm just saying maybe he's a little jealous and said whatever, whatever it was he said. Oh, I don't well, know. I guess that's an excuse. Well, it ain't no racist. excuse. I, he's, I, you know, he's married. It's a particular situation. No oh, real yeah, McElroy. but you know, see, his wife been locked up close to bottom pile now how many years? Yeah, she ain't coming out of there. Well, no, it's been years. That's where she is now. But, you know, bless his heart, he didn't leave her. He goes still visit her and this and that. But And and Tanker is his secretary, or was. It ain't I, like she tricked him into saying these things on a record. It's well, not, you just said she's working with Tay-Tay Slot now, so to me it all, all this seems... It don't excuse him being, if he did say those things and Twitters and books and grams, that's, you know, that's different. If he really said those things, that's terrible. But at the same time, if you look at the situation. Well, he, you know, now he's saying, look, this is America. If I want to be racist and run my hose water company, I think I have that right. I mean, that's what he's saying. I now. don't want to be affiliated with that. Now, nobody wants to be affiliated with racist hose water. One sip keeps it simple. And and now people reading into that. Oh, simple. Like back in the day before you could call people a racist on Twitter and, and demolish their career. I No, it's supposed to take you back to when you was a young and uh, mm-hmm. drinking out there your daddy's hose on the front lawn in the summer oh, days. Sure. It didn't have anything to do. It didn't matter. You could have been black, white. Don't matter what color you are oh, drinking out of that really? hose. Really? Back in the 60s and hoses yeah. and black people? That's that's nice, Jackie. I was real nice. trying to talk hose water. You I'm sure words in my McElroy mouth. would love to turn the hoses on some I Oh, you are putting words in my mouth. I didn't say none of that. That's not what I was implying. I'm just saying it don't matter what color you are to enjoy a delicious sip of hose water. Mm, sure. Uh, it ain't got nothing to do with what you're talking about. I hey, let me mean? call the dogs over and maybe all of y'all can enjoy all some delicious right. uh, hose no. water. One sip. Keeps it simple. Should no. be more like one sip keeps it racist, right? No. Rio McElroy will now... You and your boys, who bullied me throughout school, are sitting there. No mistress. Well, actually, I think they're still seeing each other. What? Awkward. I don't know. I don't understand it. No mistress. No hoes. No company. You a racist. And uh, Twitter hates you. So I guess the winner in all this is T.T. Slot. Me a little bit, but mostly T.T. Slot's delicious Slot Juice Hose. Remember, those Slot Juice flavors are grape, apple, grape, apple, pink, clear, and new Slot Juice Hose. Now, Like I, their Facebook page. I don't know if any of this, I'm going to look into this, but until I get to the bottom of this myself, all I got left on the shelves is, Hose to everything else sold out. Uh, whole you water. got hose water in the shelves? Well, I'm gonna when I get done here, I'm just gonna say Why it right you just now. Put a clan robe on, I'm Jackie. not going up there and taking all the hose juice off the shelf, is what I'm saying. You gotta get uh, anything from I didn't know anything about this. You I the first time I'm hearing it. To dump it, clear shelves off with your arm and dump it in a in a uh uh shopping cart and Douse it in gasoline and wheel it out in the parking lot. All right, lot and enough. Let I, I gotta, see. No, no, no. Listen to me. I ain't saying that. None of that stuff. I'm going to go up there and take it off myself till I get to the bottom of this. If these allegations are true, I'll keep it off myself. You darn straight about that. I don't want to be affiliated with that anymore than I want to be prostitutes. Racist prostitutes free. That's what I'm going to put a sign on the front of my store. It'll say that. That's fine. But I'm just saying, if this is true, these allegations, it is pitiful. It is awful. How racism ruins stuff, everything. It ruins everything. Something that was good, like delicious hose water. If if he come out and it's like this, he's ruined that for everybody. Just like old uh, Sterling basketball is ruined now. Ain't nobody ever going to get to watch a basketball game after what he did. And it's pitiful. And it's the same way. 
Hose water, it, it, it's a shame that no one will ever get another taste of that delicious hose water because of these racist views, the way people are, him and Sterling and all the rest of them. I wish they'd quit destroying all the things right about America. So I'm going to look into this, and if it's true, I'm, I'm going to give that hose juice away to somebody. <laughs> oh, you going to give a bunch of racist water to? And I, it's juice. I just see it hose juice. Racist juice. Too. It ain't going to go to waste. Like, oh, you just want it to run away. I'll take it down to the shelter. They don't know any better. There's a lot of abused women down there that don't have, I take, oh, I, insult to injury. Jackie. I didn't mean nothing. Salt I, in the wound, so to speak. I take all my leftovers here at the store. I take it down the shelter where they keep, a lot of those women get kicked out. The husbands don't want them. They put them in shelters, this and that. I right. take food down there and feed them all the time, leftover, and I'll take that hose juice down there to them, too. Now, I ain't saying. I ain't going to let it go to waste. They don't care. If racist or not, they hungry, thirsty, pitiful. I, you can't give. There's homeless people there, woman. too. It ain't all women, bad women. There's homeless people there, too. So you're going to spre- spread the r- r- racist hose juice and hose water to battered women and homeless people. They don't know where it come from. It don't matter. Why let it go to waste? You just have me go throw something to waste. Let that evil deed of racism just ruin it for everybody. Why don't you at least find out which ones of the battered women are really racist because they won't care. They'll drink it anyway. They'll be like, good. Give me this. I'm not giving it to no racist. I'm taking Even it Even a down. racist, battered woman? They're not racist. sexist. Enough. Some of them have got to be racist. I don't know what they are. I'm not going to go down there and say, hey, y'all want this racist hose juice? I'm not going to do no. that. I'm just going to give it. Twitter like will I do. Call I don't you say. Out. I don't tell them what kind of barbecue all ingredients, what goes into it when I take it down there to feed them and give them food and, and chips and slaw. I donate down there, people need food, and I'm happy to help out. I'll take that juice down there. They don't have to know it's racist or anything else, and it's not going to waste. Well, whatever your racist beverage networking I'll, plan is going to be, you better get on it because somebody I walks in this store. I ain't getting no money for it. I ain't doing anything like that. You running racist water and racist juice around town. Like a, a moonshiner working for Al Capone. I ain't doing no such thing. I donate food. It's about to go bad. Leftover barbecue I got. I can't sell. It's things like that. And it's, I'll take that juice down there with it. Why do you always say, you have those bags in the back that says for hurt women and the homeless. And then you've got uh, all those old paper towel tubes and toilet paper tubes in, in a sack. What, what are they going to do with them? They need all sorts of supplies down there. You don't know. What, what, At least I consider it and I care about them. You just, I, you put, just want to throw stuff in the trash and make it useless. Yes, Those, if it's trash. You just put trash in a bag and giving it to battered women. All How does right, that help? All them? right. On top of the racist thing. And it somebody, ain't got nothing to do with being racist. I'm taking it off myself. If that's true, I don't want to have nothing to do with real McElroy. And I can throw it away and all that water goes to waste it for nothing. And those people need it down there. I'm going to take it down there and get it for them. That's uh, Slot Juice Hoes. Oh, hell. Hey, look at there. You see him? Well, open your damn eyes in. It's the old-timey country down-home Red State Update podcast and them. Coming to you from a bunker underneath Jackie's Market in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And here they are, both of them. Hey, hey, it's Jackie Bros. Hey, Jackie. Yeah. My name's Dunlap. Yeah. How's everybody out there doing in podcast land? Or are we in podcast land and you're in the real world? I don't know the difference. I'm sitting down here. We're down here in the bunker basement of Jackie's store where years of grease has seeped through the floorboards up above and coated the walls 
I'll wait. It's just a, oh, it, because Grace is in this building. I'm proud to what I do here. I make barbecue and other things, and Grace is part of it. So if it seeps down, so be it. If that shows how hard I worked over the years. It ain't, you ain't supposed to sit down here and relax. This ain't vacation. This is a working place. I know you're not used to being in one unless you're sitting upstairs drinking. Drinking the beer for free, sneaking it out. You don't want to be down here, you can go. You can take all this stuff, whatever it is, wires, computers, take it all with you. I don't need none of it. Oh, don't tip me, old man. Go. I'll go. I'll start my own podcast. Well, I've been maybe, threatening to do it. Where I mean, you gonna do that? In, in your grandmother's basement? Maybe. Well, that ain't it. It smells in there. Garbage, everything else. I guarantee you this: there may be grease all over the walls, this and that, and it's cluttered in here. That's where I keep my stuff, uh, all boxes and things like that. But I guarantee you, it don't smell like. Pretty much smells like barbecue here, which is it's better than trash in your stink. Went down there to watch that Superman movie with you. Let me tell you, Jackie. The smell did not make that movie any better. I think you're probably imagining a, a stench that was coming off of the Superman movie. It was, was a not smell. present physically in my room. Second of all, if I did do a podcast from my grandmother's basement, it would not be the first podcast done from a grandmother's basement. It would yeah. be about like 470th in a long line. Some of them are grandmothers doing their own podcast from their own basement. I don't know why anybody does this. I don't know. I appreciate people listening, saying they enjoy this and that. That's nice, but I don't. Now, we got, of course, as, as we keep saying, as we've said from day one, several times on each podcast, after the hundredth episode. That's what we said on the first one. That's what the whole, if I remember right, that's a long time ago, over a year ago. At first, when that's all it was about, wasn't it? Was when we were going to quit. Yeah, that and Obama. I think Obama's in there somehow. Now, I'm not sure. Maybe y'all should go back and check us on this. Maybe this is something we just discussed privately. But I'm pretty sure that the first episode is us just figuring out how we're going to do 100 episodes of this so that we can quit it. So after the 100th episode, now people are getting on Facebook and they're begging us. They're pleading with us. Oh, please, you guys. Y'all, what am I going to do when your podcast ends? How am I going to fill my ear holes? What did I do before? Probably just listen to other podcasts. Well, yeah, from what you say, there's plenty of them. Now, don't worry, folks. Now, maybe what you'll be doing after episode 100 and our grand finale, as we discussed on several podcasts. Just go back and listen to all of them and, and tell us, count how many. This is what, Jackie, this is episode 78 we're doing right here. So I'd say about 76 of them. We, we clearly stated 100 episodes and we're out. I'm, that's what I always remember us saying. It's, I think it's in the theme song, some of that weird squawking. It's like 100 episodes out. It may be, I don't know. But maybe what you'll get to listen to, folks, is the Dunlap Hour. Well, let them listen to that. That's fine. Just I don't, if they if they going I don't know. It's gonna let you. It's just you just gonna sit there and run yourself down. Probably, Jackie. What I do is an hour of sex tips. All right, enough. I don't want to hear it. I can help. Listen, I, I don't want to hear it. Nobody else does either. Without getting too graphic. There's a lot of dudes who don't know how to throw it to a lady. And there's a lot of ladies who don't know how to take it up in them good. All right, I'm not going to listen to this. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm Enough. not a professional. You can take your stuff out right this very, very second. I'm not going to sit here and listen until you run and your mouth like that. that's just one idea. Maybe what I'll do is just kind of a got like a Murfreesboro gossip column. Like who's doing what this week with who. Who's over there doing this and that? And who's up to something over there? Yeah, Who do. is that over there? I don't know. Well, I'll find out. I'll, and I'll pass it on to you. It was on the Dunlap Hour. Possibly coming after our 100th episode, which will be our final one, as previously stated. Over Hell yeah. Now, this is episode 78, Jackie, so that means we, we have 
uh, 80. We have 22 episodes left to do. Is that right, math-wise? I don't know. I ain't got my counter here in my thing. That's a lot. Are you sure we never said we were going to stop after 80 episodes? That's fine. If you want to do it, we can say it today. We can say it right now. I mean, it's just there's a history to the hundred. I mean, just like a legacy. Well, if you say you're going to do something, you all stick with what yeah, you said you're going to do. So hundred episodes. Be a person so, of your word, I understand that, but hell, you know. No, we don't want to get on here and talk about nothing forever, folks. So we need to, to talk about, uh, uh, actually, we don't have a lot to talk about today, so that's why we're going to talk about. I know about something. I got something up in the store. Yeah, this may be something to somebody out there. I, don't, I didn't know we had this. Uh, come in there. Brought them in the store, all the young ones, uh, dressed up in costumes. And I said, it ain't Halloween. It's May uh, 4th. And they said, yeah, it's Star Wars Day. That has to be under Obama. Nobody would have ever made that a holiday. It, it don't make any sense to me. It's a movie. A movie ain't a holiday. You can make a movie about a holiday. That's fine. Bing Crosby, all that stuff, you know, Santa Claus movie, all that's fine. Sure, Gary but, Marshall movies. Well, what? Well, yeah, that, that, all them things. If you got, you can make a movie about a holiday, that's fine. But you can't make a holiday out of a movie. Now, you want to dress your kids up like Star Wars on the weekend just for fun, whatever? I know people like dress up, go see the movie, this hat, whatever. That's fine. I don't know if that's what you want to do. That's fine. Now, wait a minute, Jackie. Christmas is a holiday. Sure, it exists. Well, yeah, yes, Christmas is a holiday. Everybody knows no, that. No, but it was around, yeah, before. But at this point, don't you think it's pretty much all about Rudolph and, and that come from a TV show? Part of it is, but no, not my Christmas. My Christmas is about a Lord, my Lord Savior, Jesus Christ, being born on that day. Uh, if if you conflicted on what you think Christmas is, there's a couple of books by Mrs. S uh, Sarah Palin that you can get for your mirror library or get off a computer or at the bookstore wherever you need to go get it. But no, it ain't it ain't no TV show. But Jesus was born before there ever was a TV or movie or record player or anything like that. Tapes, whatever it was, he didn't have nothing back in. Had back in what you call word of mouth. Old stories get around about the good Lord being born, this and that. So you're saying Jesus went viral? Well, that's oh, is that, that's on computers, right? That's when everybody looks at something. That's what you told me, right? That's, that's a good way. Years ago, you said kids. we was viral on there. That's what everybody says. I yeah. thought saying this is sick or that or what else. So obviously, it doesn't matter. Well, it matters about Jesus. It matters. Sure, it matters about Jesus, but not about us. Well, hell no. But Jesus went viral, kids. That's how we... That was just by people on donkeys and camels and things. That's all that was. Yeah. Just and people it, going into town. The three wise men went home, you know, and they, and they knew a lot of people because as wise people would come to them for, you know, solutions to things. Back then, not everybody too smart. A lot of people weren't. That's the reason you needed... Wise men, but then after wise men, we go to then Jesus, and Jesus, you know, they learned from baby Jesus and grown up Jesus, and they would pass that information down. That sounds honestly like a lot of work. Now well, that's what it was back then. It was work. You got the good news out, you know, as people, people handing out Bibles. A lot of people back then couldn't read. Yeah, that's why I talk about wise men. Wise men had to read the Bible to you. That's what the wise men did. Not they, they did went, other things too. They took presents and this and that. But I mean, yeah, people went to see the wise men because so they, they were, were back then. Shepherds and stuff didn't know how to do stuff. Didn't know how things work. If you got a problem, you go see the wise men. And the wise men knew about Jesus before he was born. That's how wise they were. They knew to follow that star. They were future wise. Like they were wise on everything, just real smart and this stuff. You know, that, that's what the name was, wise men back then. But shepherds are stupid as hell. Not all of them. Some of them, I'm sure, ain't that bright, you know. Look at what they're doing. 
with their lives. Well, back in, that's all you had to do. So, so the people that went to see Jesus were the wise men, smart. Well, yeah. Shepherds, stupid. Little drum boy went there. Little drummer boy, also a cartoon movie. Well, they made a movie about him afterwards. Is he in the Bible or just in the cartoon? They made the cartoons of a Bible. The little drummer boy. I don't know if he's in there. Blending together. I don't know. Is he in the Bible? I don't know if he's in there by name, but they said, you know, other people come. He was one of them. So you had dumb shepherds, smart wise men. Musicians. Musicians. Somewhere in the middle. And angels. Yeah, angels come down. Are the angels smarter than the wise men? Angels smarter than everybody. They done, you know... Jesus is the smartest one, and well, he was yeah, just a hey, baby. He was a baby, smartest one there. And that, when you look at the nativity scene, they're all buying down, listening. Listening to the baby? Well, yeah. Could Jesus talk right away? I don't know if it did, but he could. You don't know. if it's something, You know, he might. Telepathy. I, he's the, the, Jesus Christ, Lord of God Almighty, he can do whatever. So Obama, do you think, is trying to uh, well, undermine that trivializes Christmas? Christmas? Well, Christmas and Easter, whatever, however you celebrate it, even though I don't particularly agree with how you celebrate Easter, it don't make sense to me, but these are real holidays. Now, there's a lot of holidays they have just to get off work. I don't want to get into all them. Regular paper holidays. I'd be interested to know which holidays you're talking about, Jackie. I like regular people. Presidents, that sort of thing. President's mm-hmm. Day, whatever. Now, Memorial Day, you can get off on that. That makes sense. That's respectful and this and that. I'm surprised at the way with Obama in office that you don't sit home every day and just have to go to work on holidays, like once a month. Yeah. To go work. Some people do, I reckon. Get paid for nothing. Something for nothing. That's Obama's credo. Yeah. Greedo. Hell yeah. Star Wars. Star Wars ain't no holiday. Whenever they put that into effect, they said, well, Jackie, it's Star Wars Day. I said, what the hell are you talking about? I didn't mean to talk that way in front of them children, but I didn't know how else to respond to that. What the hell are you talking about? Star Wars Day. Did you kick him out? Nah, I didn't kick them out, but I mean, I think they got my point. I think I made my point of view come across. Little kids don't know any better. That's that's what I'm saying. They, if you start them that way, they're going to grow up thinking Star Wars is, is good at Christmas or any other holiday. Maybe he's trying to undermine Memorial Day and the morale of our troops. Well, whatever Obama's trying to undermine is pitiful Star Wars Day. Because it's close to Memorial Day. It's between Easter and Memorial Day. Well, so he's That either, ain't enough for everybody, is it? He's nope. either gunning for Jesus or gunning for soldiers. And you try to teach a youngin' about what is today for, the importance of the day, and this and that. And you try to tell him about men that sacrifice this country. I guarantee kids today just fall asleep you try and tell them that. Tell them the importance of, uh, you know, the military people giving their lives and this. And you try to tell them about Easter, what Easter is, uh, good Lord Jesus coming back to life, you know, make it true all what he said, this and that. And you try to tell them that, go to sleep. You bring up Star Wars, their eyes light up, they, they get out the uh, light strings, whatever it is to get on, and get all excited, video games, all that stuff. You don't get on. It's light set. Look, the point is, Obama is trying to ruin... Christianity, well, yeah, and the military, and he's using damn Star Wars Star to do Wars. it, and so he's ruining Star Wars. Also. Well, they said Star Wars man sold all that stuff. He don't own it no more. It's Disney, Walt Disney Company, Walt Disney. Oh hell, he sold some of that Obama. You think George Lucas? He probably gave it to him. It's a cover story. Because he's Hollywood. He just give Obama Star Wars so he can use that to bash Jesus and uh, the troops. Uh, Disney's just a cover story for him. I wouldn't wouldn't be surprised. Because they're supposed to have Star Wars at Disneyland and Walt Disney yep. World and the T-shirts and stuff. 
Maybe they got the rights to the merchandise and the rides, and Obama got the rights to uh, holiday rights. Holiday rights yeah. to it. That makes sense. Yeah. Star Wars Day. Well, beautiful. That's what this. That's what this concert's turning to. Secular, uh, anti. I remember when I was a kid. Kid people say, "Don't go see that Star Wars." They say the Force. May the force be with you. The force, everybody worships the force. That's that's in a false idol. That's in place of God. You, the force, they use the force instead of God in space. And I was like, well, you'd be stupid if they're like, oh, space God. And that's when I get slapped. I don't know what it is. Hey, years ago, you know, because everybody went see it. So I remember somebody took me that. It just a bunch of noise, crazy sounds, and and lights. And I don't know what that ever means. It don't add up to nothing to me. Jackie don't like Star Wars. I, it, it's just silly. I don't understand. There ain't no story to it. I don't know what it is. Luke Skywalker on a desert. And then he, yeah, you're right. Jackie don't likes know what, Star Trek. Now, I like old Star Trek. Hey, they sit on here TV. and the TV turned Well, on. there's a story with that. It makes sense. There's a beginning, a middle, and an ending. It makes sense what happens. There's monsters on there, but you know what that monster is and what it's doing, and if you can't understand what the monster says, somebody else will, uh, you know, interpret it for you, whatever. Spock will say what's going on. There's somebody there explain it to you. It's clearer. Yeah. Clearer I know action. I know what the story is. I like Star Trek. It's good stories. You know, it's good TV show. I like it. Old, old Star Trek. You don't like new Star Trek? That's like... Oh, masterpiece! They, I don't know. Everybody got an accent. This or that. They got airs about them. Jackie's picky when it comes to his uh, science fiction fandom. I don't like none of that sort of stuff. But old Star Trek, that's the only one I like. I don't like it, none of else like that. I don't like Star Wars space. I don't care nothing about it. Now let's say that somebody they else- made a movie. There was one space movie I like it. It's about Sally Ride. Uh, space woman. camp. Space camp, yeah. Now, that's good because that's believable. They taught all this. Sally Ride got all them children uh, from across the country, however it was, took them up to space. Something went wrong. That makes she sense. She helped them get back. That sounds about right. Maybe not the last part. Well, I that is a good movie. Maybe we should have space camp day. Well, might as well. At least you learned something from that. Space Camp Day, it's Star Wars Day, I'll have Space Camp Day. You're right. At least you learned something that makes sense. A good American. Shadow Ryan, you know, uh, know, used to have heroes back in the day. A lady hero, too. Here's Here's an idea, though. Maybe whoever's president next, if it's a Republican, they can take what Obama has built up with this Star Wars Day and revise it. Just revise it. Revise it. Revise it. So instead of using Star Wars to bash Jesus and to bash the troops, to undermine them, to take those holidays away, you use Star Wars to glorify the Lord and to uh, praise our troops. No, sir. May the force be with Jesus. Don't mix Star Wars with that stuff. That's disgraceful. That I don't see. That if you want my vote, come 2016, I'm going to tell you right now, you repeal Star Wars Day. You're going to repeal Star Wars Day. Jackie, the, the, the ship has sailed on Star Wars Day. No. It's too late to do. No, they, sir. Everybody is out there enjoying Star Wars Day. Before they didn't have all these people who before Star Wars Day had no Star Wars Day. Now they got Star Wars Day. You gonna try to take Star Wars Day away from them? I don't. We that don't need to be no Star Never Wars gonna Day. Never gonna happen. Never gonna happen. Oh hell! Those people need their Star Wars Day, Jackie. What we need to do is work to make Star Wars Day better. It don't need to be better. It don't need to be at all. There ain't no. Raising for Star Wars Day. Look, I, I, I'm just throwing some ideas against the wall. We, you could just go in. We can get the folks at Coley's Christian Cinemas to do this. Just add some lines where they're they're firing lasers at lightsabers. 
and just like, uh, baby, Luke, like, bats a laser away with his lightsaber. You know how he does. How he does that. I don't know. And how he can say, "Praise Jesus." May the force be with you, Jesus. No, that's me. No, that's like mixing other. That's like Buddhist and putting Buddhist on Jesus. Jesus don't need it. Jesus got what he is fine the way it is. Jesus got don't need to put Muslim needs. on Jesus. Jesus fine the way it is. You don't need to put all you know all them different religions, whatever else it is. I don't know all of them. Leave Jesus the way it is. Leave it be. It's fine. And you sure as hell don't put Star Wars on it. I'm just saying, maybe Star Wars Yoda uh, gives a little speech uh, talking about the bravery of the men and women who died no. in our, our military. No, sir. No, sir. Disgraceful. Yeah, maybe. Uh, now, you keep giving them ideas. Why don't you shut your darn mouth? It, it, I hope I'm dead in the ground before you're going to have Obama uh, dressed up like Star Wars, uh, saying exactly what you saying, all that stuff. It's going to be pitiful. Oh, I can see next Star Wars day, uh, I get Frank Oz up out of wherever he's been, and they slap a Yoda puppet on it, you know, at gunpoint probably, because I don't want to throw Frank Oz under the bus. But I can see some jackbooted thugs pointing guns at yeah. Frank Oz's bald little head and him hiding under a podium. I don't want it's pitiful. He's got his arm up up Yoda and Obama saying, So Yoda, how do uh tell me about uh how our brave men and women have sacrificed so much to protect this country. And then he's gonna have to go, Where are all the No, order? no. The, Army, the Navy. I can't do Yoda real good, but I I think that Obama was pretty good. I'm going to say that right Man, now. He sounded a little like I him. think it was a pretty good Obama, Man. but my Yoda needs work. Well, every time that's Mark Grover, so I'm in the neighborhood, but I really got I got to refine it. All I'm saying, Jackie, is you're never going to repeal Star Wars Day. Never going to happen. Well, you somebody, if you want my boat, sailed. if you want my boat, you better try. Oh, sure, so they're going to get the votes of a bunch of angry old white people well, who hate Star Wars. We uh, we represent somebody in this country. We stand for something. I'm still alive, ain't I? Still a citizen. My penny counts. And I Nothing live here, you better represent penny. me. You sound, Jackie, like these people. Huh. I, somebody sent me a link. Operation... Uh, what was it called? Operation American Spring. It's this old dude. He's retired army. See, yeah. maybe if they had Yoda talking to him, they wouldn't need to go do stuff like this. Now, he said, we're going to go to no, Washington. Nobody need a puppet or whatever, space thing, anything, talking to him. And these don't have nothing to do with military. This man, he comes up there. He's, he's, he's an older gentleman. He is of the Caucasian persuasion. He is male. He said, I'm retired army, do to do my name is, I forget. And on the date, such and such, we're going to go up to, I think, Washington, D.C. I'm, I really need to do more research you on this. You talk about the March. On, on the March, Operation on American May 16th. Strength. May 16th. May 16th. Oh, see, he's reached his target audience. Well. Hey, they want to go up there calling for, they're demanding the resignation of the seven people. Wait, let me see if I can recall. Barack Obama. Yeah. Joseph Biden. Well, Nancy yeah. Pelosi. Yep. Uh, uh, Boehner. Well, yeah. Holder. Boehner, I think, is the only Republican. Holder. And uh, there was two more. And they got to go to. Well. They got to get rid of all of them. And. I Yes, so nothing. he's saying we're going to go up there, they're going to lock arms, right? Did he say lock arms? Let's just say he did. He's going to lock arms. Shoulder to shoulder, too. Shoulder lock to arms. shoulder. There are going to be so many of them up there. There's going to be nobody there. I'm not saying I don't agree with, with his message. I'm not saying. You hear that siren? There they go. Longhorns Dance Parlor. It's starting up. You better wrap this up because that's going to be all night, back and forth. 
fight breaking out left and right. They got a helicopter out. You hear that helicopter? It may be. I don't know. It's a big fight. Sound like something up there, yeah. It's a big fight. So I don't disagree with what he's saying. I, I, it just sounds like, hey, they should have got somebody young and sexy in the video talking to well, you. Well, old people count. They, they need no, they don't. They need something to do. That's fine. You know, it's a trip to go to Washington. Some of them might be there. It's better than sitting in an old folks' home withering away. So this is like a senior citizen trip? Well, I think it's probably how it's going to turn out. There may be a few truckers there. You know, truckers, you know, care about old veterans, you know. Oh, so they're going to go to the old folks' home. They're going to load up the buses and the But the Yeah, the oh. you know, old people, the walkers. Get them out. Get them in the fresh go air. Go to Washington, D.C. I get you. And then yeah. they'll probably stop Captain D's on the way home. They That's give them cool. something to do. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I, it may not be to your political belief. I mean, they want Obama if they believe he's... Kenyan, I think, something like that. Oh, it's a birther thing. It's got something to do with that. I'm sure that and other stuff, you know, been guys of this and that. you got to keep your mind occupied. Whatever it is, is something. That's right. People say run down Fox News and this and that. You know, what else? It's like some, a puzzle. They give people something to do. Look, I have this barbecue store. I'm grateful for it. Otherwise, I'd be sitting home rotting away. I come in here every morning give me something to do. As long as people enjoy eating my food, as long as I'm standing there, I'll keep them making it. But a lot of people don't have a luxury of something like this, their own business. You know, I know how fortunate I am. And you know, some people's children lock them up, this and that. Uh, you know, for whatever whatever circumstances, you're in an old folks' home, you got something to watch, you got something to engage in, and get involved, you know. And then, you know, so they get to go up to Washington, see the sights, you know, get out there, get the fresh air, you know, just getting out and moving the best you can, walkers, whatever you got, you know. Well, that's good. Uh, some well, yeah. people's health may not allow them to take a trip that long, but I hope that uh, they uh, people take pictures at least. It's different from what I thought it was. I thought it was like a militia back. They were trying to get some of them militia. But the militia may be some of them people there, but, you know, I think that's good for them to do. Yeah, instead of out in the woods with the guns doing Lord knows what, go to the old folks' home, pick up a car load. Take them up a while. I think That's it all every, keeps everybody occupied, everybody doing it. And liberals get mad, how dare they, this or that. Think it through before you get so upset. These people, people need something to do. People do need something to do, Jackie. Yeah. I mean, you get a bunch of people sitting around with nothing to do. Look at, look at Bundy Ranch. You heard about this over in Bundy Ranch. There's a lot of different militia groups, Jackie, and they're yeah. all kind of arguing. They're starting to, to splinter. They're starting to break apart like... Uh, uh, some rumors started spreading, and you know how it is with these militia groups. It's like a sewing circle. I believe all sorts of things too. You know, we don't. That's how rumors. You don't know what's going to happen. Just cheap, cheap, cheap. Talk yeah. a lot, pick a little. Well, yeah. However that song goes, and so rumors start spreading. Oh, here come the drones. It's either like, did you see what Maud wore when she was training her rifle on those federal agents? Like, I thought it was just a little too risque. Or it's, uh, they're going to send drones after us. Well, one of these groups, if I'm understanding this story, was like, ah, drones, let me out of here. And they they got up and left. Uh -huh. They're like, screw this. See you later, cows. And they got in their trucks and camper homes and drove the hell out of there. Well, the other groups were like, what a bunch of pussies. And I realize this is a sexist term. But I'm just repeating what I imagine they said. I can't get along out there. I'll fuss with one another. So no drones show up. And, and the people who left, it's defense. I don't want to be shot by a drone protecting a cow. Man, nobody I, Freedom. Yeah, we well, freedom too. It ain't all about the cows. Yeah. No, I'm... I'm it ain't about all about the turtles. It ain't all about the cows. You know what it's about? It's about freedom. And that's the reason the people that are left there, that's the reason they're there, not because of yeah. racist no. things. No. They got mad at the people who left, and when no drone showed up, they're like, uh, drone strike Thursday at 7 a.m. We're out of here. And they're like, oh, scaredy cats. No drone strike. They're like, hey, uh, I guess we're back. And the other people were like, no. You left us. We don't want you here. Yeah. A lot of infighting. Yeah. And don't get along. Well, anybody left out in the pasture a bunch of cows for, you know, how many days does it take? They going to get, you know, antsy, go crazy out there by themselves. It's, it's, 
they're out there. Yeah. All the Tea Party people are out there. A lot of militia groups, a lot of Tea Party folks out in the desert being watched by federal agents. They've created their own FEMA camp. They did it themselves. They assembled in one place. They pissed off the all the all Obama's got to do. They're is, doing a walk for him. They just got to throw up a fence real fast, and and they're right there. They're captured. That you captured yourself. The cows may have been decoy for that. You can come think about it. Did you ever look at those cows and make sure it wasn't federal agents in cow drag? Oh, just big plastic cardboard cow. You know, just uh, illusion. You get a picture. From a distance, you you know maybe have a few real cows and the rest of them phony. Oh, there's plenty of people online, Jackie, uh, who believe that it's phony cows, that uh, um, uh, Obama was running a scam, and those are just cardboard cutouts because they're showing the same cardboard cutouts of cows at the Boston Marathon hey, bombing. Well, I've heard these rumors, so they started that way, and then to give you know some people get misguided this and that, so then they let the racist thing start. You know, here's your last chance. Get out, right? You know, and they still Stick stay, around. still stay there. And I get it. Yeah, they're gonna put FEMA up FEMA camp fence. time. Yeah, FEMA camp time. He got you trapped. You, they got to think these things through. You know, drones ain't ain't the worst of it. No, it, it's it's funny. Like all the militias, and uh, if I were Obama, I would just start. Uh, stomping on freedom so that I could get all the militia folks and uh, in one party, place. people who love freedom in one place and start rounding them up. I wouldn't be surprised if he just rounds up all those old folks when they get march on Washington yeah. and stands arm arm in arm and shoulder to shoulder. I, although I guess if he really wanted those old people, he could just go to the old folks' home and lock the door. Well, yeah, they already there. They're already, there They're already all there. Yeah. It's just letting them get out, like I said. Get some fresh air. Well, that's nice. Yeah, well, yeah. Was that all?